Hello, I'm Florina Montanescu for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. We recently released the first production-ready version of Obo, a C++ library for building real-time audio apps. Obo provides the lowest possible audio latency across the widest range of Android devices. Example code and a video are on the post linked in the description below. The Android Dev Summit kicks off on November 7th, broadcasting live from the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California. There will be two days of deep technical sessions from the Android engineering team, with over 30 sessions live streamed. Links, including information on sessions and live stream, are on the post. Google Cloud Next London was awesome. There is a link in the session videos in the description below, and here are a few of the announcements. Container-native load balancing for applications running on Google Kubernetes Engine and Kubernetes on Compute Engine is now available. Stackdriver Incident Response and Management IRM, on Google Cloud Platform is now available in alpha. We're adding enhancements to Cloud Spanner's SQL capabilities to make it easier to read and write data in Cloud Spanner databases using SQL and use off-the-shelf drivers and tooling. Cloud Spanner's API now supports insert, update, and delete SQL statements. We're also offering Key Visualizer, so you can see key access patterns in heat map format to optimize your cloud big table schemas for improved performance. There are some cloud storage updates that give you even more control over how and where your data is stored, including the new dual regional option for replicating data. Nearline and co-line data are now geo-redundant in multi-regional locations the new Cloud Story C++ library, and more. Several new APG capabilities are now generally available, including APG API monitoring, APG extensions, and APG hosted targets. We're releasing a TensorFlow package for active question answering, a research project that investigates using reinforcement learning to train artificial agents for question answering. ActiveQA interacts with QA systems using natural language with the goal of providing better answers. Details and a link to the GitHub projects are on the post. New features and major changes coming to Chrome DevTools in Chrome 71 include the abilities to hover over a live expression to highlight a DOM node, store DOM nodes as global variables, picture-in-picture -picture breakpoints, and more. Check them all out on the post. Thorough Live is happening on December 4th at the Science Museum in London. This is a worldwide celebration of Flutter that will include announcements, live demos, and more. The event will be optimized for online viewers with viewing parties happening around the world. So make sure you head onto the site to save the date and sign up to watch the live stream. To provide additional assurances for users, we recently announced new policies focused on Gmail APIs. They'll help ensure appropriate access, how data may not be used, how data must be secured, and more. The policies go into effect on January 9, 2019. More details are available on the post. Over the next few months, we'll start showing each Google account permission that an app requests one at a time within its own dialog, instead of presenting all permissions in a single dialog. Users will have the ability to grant or deny permissions individually. To prepare for this change, there are a number of actions you should take within your app, which are outlined in the post linked in the description below. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Florina Montanescu for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. This is a dev show with Florina, scene one, take one.